Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be running you through the best settings for pretty much every category in this new game called The Finals. This game uh, came out about, I think, a month ago in the beta, but now it's officially released about one week ago, and I'm absolutely loving it. I've been waiting for a game like this to start making content on again, so I hope you guys are also enjoying this game because I really love it. So I'm in the practice range. I'm going to be showing you some of the settings. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you want to maximize your performance and your control, stuff like that, I'm just going to be going through all those. So if you do want to skip ahead, just go through the timestamps if you want to go to a specific setting. But anyways, to get into the settings, just hit escape, click on settings. So we're going to be starting in gameplay. And in gameplay, uh, a lot of these things are going to be de default. So use enemy team colors. I would recommend having that on hide player names uh you can't have this on if you're a streamer <clears throat> and you don't want that on for some reason it's pretty common for streamers not to want that preferred region you can have it automatic which is default or you can change it to a specific region uh, crossplay it seems like i can't change it so i don't mind crossplay unless i get people that are on console on my team which kind of sucks uh, no offense to console players this is also kind of a pc guide here so that's probably what the title is going to say um crosshair i like it doesn't really matter you can have whatever color you want you see you can kind of change the color you can make like um with these three sliders here you can make whatever color you want uh the width also down here also you can't really make the crosshair smaller so as you can see it's kind of just this size so it is what it is but i don't really mind it um, so yeah basically the main things here change the color change the outline um from like if you have the opacity here the outline width if you want an outline Pretty straightforward crosshair creation, just know it's here if you want it. Controller, not gonna be going through this. Again, this is a PC guide. Um, look sensitivity, mouse look sensitivity is 30. So this game actually gets this right, which is amazing. A lot of times when you boot up a game, you have to go all the way down to like one, which is really annoying to just get like a normal sensitivity. But here at 30, you can see my sense is actually, what I like to do is like, I like to do a full 360 on my mouse pad. And so I like to go just a little bit over. So if I'm aiming just at this corner, I do a full 360. Oops, I aimed in. If I do a full 360, you can see I go just past this a little bit because I like to have a slightly higher sensitivity than a full 360, if that makes sense. Um, and so mouse zoom sensitivity, this is just 100%. This is what it was by default. So I'm assuming it's a good. Mouse focal length sensitivity scaling is on. This is off. So here's, we're going to get to the key binds, guys. So a lot of these are going to be preference, but I'll just kind of go through. This is all... This is all standard, WASD, spacebar, interact is E, that's pretty standard, shoot, secondary fire is all standard. I like to have sprint toggle instead of sprint hold, so that means, just means you, you tap it instead of hold it, that's just my preference. Specialization, this is definitely one I consider changing. If you come from Valorant, um, you can swap your keybind for like using, the, this is going to be your main ability, which if you're playing light, medium, or heavy, there's going to be your main ability. So you can change this to whatever you want, Q is fine for me, reload, pretty standard on R, Ping, I changed to Z, that's just my preference. Quick melee, I changed to mouse button four, which is the side mouse button I have on my mouse. Um, so crouch, slide, hold, control, sh and C, you can swap these if you want. Um, these are all standard. Inspect weapon, I actually haven't done this much, but it's also what I have in Valorant, it's mouse button five. Emote is H. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of go through a lot of these, you can see. Um, nothing else really crazy here. Push attack is on V, so um, if you do, you know, want to push talk, we'll get into that in the audio section too. But nothing, nothing else pretty crazy here. P pick up objects, pretty important is F. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move through. If you guys want to change anything, copy anything here, you can go ahead and pause. But yeah, so moving on to accessibility, um, we have colorblind mode. So again, this is not going to apply to you unless you're colorblind. It has, you know, if you are colorblind, you're going to know which one you need to pick. But for most of it, it's going to be default. Um, subtitles are on by default. I'd recommend keeping them on. It's kind of cool, for, like with, with the casters that are kind of talking over your game. Um, so small here. Motion blur off. Definitely off. Would recommend. <clears throat> this is just crosshair again, so don't need to go through that again. Moving on to audio. This game's kind of loud, especially like the music and whenever the commentators are kind of talking over the game. It's kind of loud, so uh master volume i don't i think this might have been default 75 but i turned all these down to 75 as well because it's kind of loud and obviously you can you can kind of change these if you wish like i could see some people turning this down really low it just kind of focus up um same thing with the music or sfx but i like to kind of have it it's not blaring if that makes sense in my ears um output make sure you use headphones if you're using headphones if you're not using headphones change this to whatever uh whatever else is there for you Night mode, not sure what this is actually. I haven't really played around with that. 
might be I don't know if that's like literally night or if it's just like a dark changes like the screen to dark or something subtitles again this is what we've already went through so voice chat please guys if you're gonna play this game especially if you're playing ranked if you want to play it casually fine but if you want to play ranked I would highly recommend turning on voice chat a lot of people in my games don't talk this is pretty common in a lot of games but turn voice chat on voice chat enabled for all you can turn on for friends only but I would recommend turning on for all push to talk and um, very important that you make sure that your input and output devices are correct this game actually did get it right as well, which is really impressive because a lot of games do not. So this is going to be the one mic that you want uh, to input that's picking up your mic. And this is what you're basically hearing the game through. Um, this is 100%. And guys, if you just as a side note to audio and voice chat, if you want to opt out, cool thing is you can just click right here. If someone's being toxic, you can just hit escape, hit this. Or you can just hit K. You see the key bind right here. So I have this on. I haven't really had to turn it on. I had one toxic player so far, but that's fine. So lastly, guys, we have the video tab, which is probably the most important for a lot of you. Um, so full screen, this game does default to, uh, I think, windowed full screen, but I would recommend full screen just for performance. Um, whatever resolution you want to play on, 1920 by 1080 is what I play on. V-Sync, I would turn off just for FPS. It's cool you can see your FPS up here as well. So you can actually kind of get a real-time update of whatever uh, you're changing here. So um, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, usually I turn this on plus to boost, but if you actually look in the top right at my performance, on plus boost is giving me about 200 and like 220 to 250 frames. And if I turn it just to on, you can see I'm getting consistently over 300 and as well up here in this, uh, oh, you can't see that corner, but up here I'm getting consistently over 300. So I would recommend putting on uh, for this game specifically for whatever reason. Now for resolution scaling, this is going to depend on what kind of graphics card you have. So if you have a, an NVIDIA graphics card like me, you go NVIDIA DLSS. There are other options. I actually am not familiar with some of these to be honest. I don't know what TAAU is. Um, I think this Intel is if you're using like your CPU, uh, AMD this is for AMD graphics cards, but Nvidia DLSS, um, there are a couple options under DLSS here. We can use performance if you really want to juice the performance out of your card. Ultra performance if you want even better performance. I don't see, let's see if we go like quality. There's not really crazy changes to the FPS here. So I like to keep it on either auto or uh, balanced. So I'm just keeping on balance. That's kind of my preference. Field of view, I changed it to 90. You can, there's already, you can make arguments for 100, but I kind of like, you know, you don't want it to be like this. This is like, you're not going to be able to see as much. So this is actually really important, guys. Also, I think the lower you go, the more frames you're going to get. But I would recommend, I would recommend somewhere around 90, kind of getting used to this because you can see more in your peripheral vision. The reason you don't want to go might not want to go to 100 is because it's kind of hard to see right it's it's actually kind of hard you can see like right now i'm kind of zoomed in so i can see this a little more clearly if i zoom out it's kind of hard to see but 90 is definitely for me kind of like a sweet spot sometimes even 100 again motion blur disabled lens distortion disabled this is not a single player game we're not trying to you know run around and look at the pretty graphics even though this game is actually really pretty and it does run really smooth we're trying to optimize performance with this video with these settings that's what that's my um kind of philosophy my perspective um, so this is ray tracing. This is going to make a big impact on your frame. So you can see, um, again, this is not a game we're trying to have look really pretty. So static is going to give us consistently between 300 and 320 or so frames. If we turn on, um, dynamic ray tracing, again, this game runs really well, surprisingly. I'm still getting over the frames that I need, but again, it just feels smoother. So I want to st stick with static. I'm not playing this game to be like, wow, look at the pretty whatever, right? I'm trying to get as many frames as possible here um, to some extent. So, cause in this next section, we're going to quality. So overall, this is going to be a custom for me. So view distance, I have to high because it's actually, if you think about it, kind of important whenever you're like looking in the distance, unless the map is foggy, um, which is just kind of like a gameplay mechanic, but anti anti-aliasing. You can also see it's cool on the right here. You can see how this impacts the GPU performance. So GPU performance, has a minor performance here, which is great because we do want this to, to be higher. We could actually turn this up. I could turn this up even more. And you can see like, if I change to low and then I look up here at my FPS, like, okay. Cause you know, my PC is different from your PC, right? So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna turn this on Epic. 
changing the trees, which is interesting. Anti-aliasing, medium. Shadows, low, because again, I don't care about shadows. Why do I care about shadows? Um, this has a major impact on GP performance, so I'm not going to do that. Post-processing, going to keep on medium. Generally, I'm going to keep everything on medium here, because my PC is good enough to run everything on medium. Otherwise, I would put on low, if you guys do need to do that. G texture, I am turning on high, just because it has a minor performance on GPU uh, video memory, so, you know, if I, you know, it's fine. Uh, FX, foliage, and global illumination resolution, these are all medium, these all have moderate impact on GPU. So if your CP or if your PC is really struggling, you can turn these down to low. And guys, so that's pretty much all the settings. Pretty straightforward settings in this game. Sorry if it took a little longer, but hopefully you could skip through what you needed. If you do want the controller section, I'm sure there's another guide out there for you. Um, anyways, guys, you know I'm gonna make more videos on this game. It's really fun. I love it so far. This is the practice range. And yeah, let me know if you have any comments. And peace.